so today we're preparing uh, a lesson on calorimeter and we're building a homemade one using a coffee can. Um, we removed one of the top, um, the bottom, so that way we can see all the way through it. And we have a smaller can that we'll be able to fit inside of it. And what it will look like, it has two holes for a rod to go through, and then it will be suspended over this. It has a needle, and I put it into an eraser for support, and we'll put the food item on here, and light it, and put it underneath. And what we're trying to do is capture the heat released from the food, and we're going to measure the water's temperature before and after the item is burnt. Um, so to start, I'm going to take the small can and measure the small can. I'm going to turn on the scale and I'm going to measure the small can. I'm going to record, it says it's 67 grams. We're measuring in grams. 67 grams. And with a graduated cylinder, I measured out 200 milliliters of distilled water that I'm going to put into the can. And again, I'm going to measure it. It says 264 grams. 264 grams and that will give us 30. our mass of the water which is 197 grams so I'm going to record that and um, so we can put the rod through suspended over and we will take popcorn as one of our first items um, now I'm gonna use popcorn this time but other things that I plan on using are various nuts um, I might do it into categories of like protein fats and carbs maybe do pieces of bread and um, I'm gonna weigh the food item before I put it barely a gram, it's 0.5 grams. I'm going to carefully put this on the needle. I'm going to put it on I'm using this surface just because I'm, I'm setting this on fire, so I want to contain it uh, for safety reasons. And um, before I light this on fire, I want the temperature of the water uh, before. Now this is in Celsius. is about 22 degrees Celsius. 22 degrees Celsius. So now that I've measured the weight of the food item, the mass of the water, and the temperature of the water before, I'm ready now to set this on fire and put this over top and then let it burn out. Um, this is going to capture the heat and the water is very absorbent with heat so we're going to measure the temperature of the water after this has burnt out. Okay, here we go.
make sure that it's centered over the flame. And let it come to the surface. The flame is dying now. Still going. Okay, and it's out. So I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna remove this can to the safe surface. Uh, we're gonna measure this the temperature afterwards. about 24 degrees Celsius. 24 degrees Celsius. So it was only a two degree difference. Now what we can tell from this um, will be up for the students to analyze. Uh, maybe they'll come to certain conclusions like popcorn has um, less energy than other sources. Um, maybe therefore it has less calories. Um, we will explore this with the classroom and uh, try it out with different food items.